there, internet. React Andy with a polo coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra champion reveal today as we are going to be 12 year old reacting to Bagar, whom I know absolutely nothing about. Uh, I assume they are a Yordle. In fact, I just realized that uh, he's at the... I, I actually have to see this video. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I missed it. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I can do a reaction video to the Beyond the Bed the Wood trailer. Uh, regardless, I don't know anything about Vega. Uh, unlike Caitlyn, whom I've seen before in Poppy, I also saw her before in a cinematic. Uh, this is the first time that I hear about this champion. Though I, I am pretty certain that it is some sort of like Yordle Mage. Evil Yordle Mage, maybe? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that Vagar is from Bandle City. Maybe double region. That would be pretty exciting, actually. Uh, I don't know. Bandle City Shadow Isles? <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and react this bitch. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I read the comments yesterday, and I saw some people were a bit annoyed by how I kept going back to the video, uh, to relook some things. I'm gonna try to avoid that, but I will continue to pause the video at certain points, because I like to watch the videos that way. You know, I like to be able to read the card, you know, as they present, because they only give you a few seconds, and I just cannot read that fast. And, uh, hopefully you guys bear with that. So, yeah, let's stop talking, and let's start reacting. <laughs> Okay, that's that seems pretty loud right off the bat. All right, let's go here and let's adjust it a little bit. Atta boy. All right, Vega looks pretty cool. Let's see what they're about. Oh, oh, I knew it. I mean, come on, that was actually quite easy. <laughs> Oh man, okay. So it is Bandle City Shadow Owls. Form in a 1 4. Are you Maokai 2.0? When I'm summoned, create a darkness in hand. And if you don't have one, okay, when I'm, let me start over again. I, I, I was saying to myself, don't say it by recording, but it just kind of like came out. God damn it. I ruined it. When I'm summoned, create a darkness in hand if you don't have one. Round start, grant your darkness everywhere one extra damage. Level up requirement, you've dealt 12 damage with darkness. So we gotta assume that darkness is a spell that deals damage. Whether it deals damage to units or the Nexus, we'll see. But uh, really understated, like very weak, dies to Merciless Hunter amongst many things. So I'm expecting darkness to be... Uh, pretty powerful as a spell, and uh, we'll see just how easy it is to level up Viger. Start with a no Good, my bonus friend. I totally understood that. Deal two to an enemy. Okay, so three mana slow speed. That's expensive. But you are dealing two. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not incredible either. And in order to deal 12 with darkness... Wait, uh, I'm sorry. I have to go back in case I missed... Yeah, round start, grant your darkness everywhere, one extra damage. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So you got to keep this guy alive. You got to keep this guy alive and pump these dark. Okay, that's really interesting. But you, you create the darkness in hand if you don't have one. But you summon. So if you use your darkness, then how you do you, you, you must have other ways of generating more, right? Because Vagar is not going to keep generating you darkness. Okay. <laughs> the river is better! I totally understood that. Come to it is my ingenuity, Lord Vega. Stretch in my legs, number three. It's at home. So he's granting the darkness when he dies. Plus one damage. So you want to hold on to darkness. Superior battle tactics. Retreat! Dude, that's pretty sick. Song, Lord Vega. Don't you that word! Yes, please, thank you. There's the impact. And that creates a darkness too. And it has augments. Whoa! Alright, here we go. Level up! Dude, I love this character. Uh, it, uh, stop, stop, stop. When I'm summoned in round and round start, now he creates darkness in hand when he doesn't have one. Even at the uh, he keeps creating them essentially. Uh, and you grant your darkness everywhere one extra damage. Your darkness can target anything, including the Nexus. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is a like this is an awesome win condition. 
Oh, this is actually like this is scary. The, it, like you have to kill Vagar. Like you have to do your very. But and the thing is, like even if he dies, if you have another one, as long as you've dealt, because it's not seen, right? He levels up if you damage. You've dealt, so you don't have to see this, which is really important. Let's get a look at it again. Oh, this, this is fire! This is fire. This is great. Yeah, it is nearly seven now, and it just goes. Yeah, dude, this is sick. And then you generate another one at the beginning of the round. You and this one deals eight. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh man, I love it. It's like a snowball sort of like burn, like late burn. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we got the event horizon here. Stun an enemy, then stun all enemies with two or less power. And it's fast speed? Wait, what? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, this card is like an anti-swarm stun. Oh my god, Bandle City Yasuo! Bandle City Yasuo, dude! Holy shit! Holy shit! I, I just I did not expect this. Oh my god! This, this is like everything you wanted out of fucking uh, intimidating roar. This is like a oh my dude. This is this this card is insane with the Oslo. Like that's that's crazy. Okay, let's take a look at the other ones. We got the Dark Bulb Acolyte, which does when I'm summoning you create a darkness in hand if you don't have one. And it's a two two with augment. I really really love this follower. For the Vigard deck. Tenor of Terror, Impact, 2 3 4 4 mana, double region. When I'm summoned, if you've played a created card or killed the unit with a spell this game, you summon a Bass of Burden, which is a 3 2 with impact. So for 4 mana, you get like two pretty solid bodies, and both of them have impact. That's awesome. That is awesome. And a very, a pretty simple. Uh, like in the right deck, a very easy level up, uh, sorry, uh, requirement to meet. Really, really like the Tenor of Terror. Twisted Catalyzer, 2 mana, 3, 2. Strike, grant your darkness everywhere, 1 extra damage. Really solid, honestly, like a, a good stat line for a 2 drop that just works on its own. And if it's kind of like, it's got like a mountain goat thing going on, right? Like you're, you're granting your darkness everywhere, but you don't have to have a darkness in hand. Like you don't have to wait to play Vagar or Dark Bulb Acolyte to generate the darkness because it'll, it'll just be buffing them from the get-go, which I love because you can play this on a curve and you're already threatening that. I really like this art, the wizened wizard. <laughs> well, you guys can't see this. Let me actually take out my cam for a second. <laughs> <laughs> those those eyebrows, man. Round start, refill one spell mana. Whoa. Whoa, that is really neat, actually. That is not only for Vigar, but just for like spell based decks in general. That is really it's like an ongoing attune in a way. That's that's really bizarre. I really like this package. I I, I I love it. I love the fact that you can also just play Vagar outside of Bandle City and combine Shadow also something else in like a control deck. Really, really dope. Big fan of this champion design. We're going to take a look at the cards on Twitter because uh, we're going to see if there's more reveals besides that. And we'll see also what his signature spell is. And we'll be right back. And we are back. We leave a like. And uh, we see that Vygar's signature card actually is Event Horizon, which is nuts because it's really, really powerful. It's a very strong, it's a very good card, so it's a very good signature spell to have, especially for a spell-based leader that's gonna... I, I feel like this champion is gonna be prevalent in, like I said, reactive control decks, right? And just trying to win with like a slow burn, kind of like Ezreal Draven does, right? Wow, okay, let's take a look at the other cards. We got the Stilted Robe Maker here, which we did not see <laughs> this art. Uh, a Yordo, clearly. Oh, and, and Vagar is a, is a Yordo as well, right? Yeah, okay. That's important to know, too. When I'm summoned, reduce the cost of your darkness everywhere by one. Okay, really, really good. Really neat. I'm not sure if it'll be a staple for Vagar, because it is Bandle City, right? That's the thing. Dark Bulb Acolyte is also Bandle City. So that, that does kind of like, that does encourage you to go Bandle City and something else instead of Shadow Owls. But the flexibility for deck building is there, and I really love that. 
Okay. We got the mini morph here. Six mana burst speed spell that transforms an enemy into a 3-3 three, three mini, mini minity and silences it. I assume like the, the, the silence feels kind of... I mean, yeah, because when you're transforming, you're, you're, you're actually... Uh, no, when you're transforming, you're not carrying over prior buffs, right? So I'm not sure what the silencing is for, but... Yeah, I have to look into that, actually. I'm not exactly sure. But it is a six mana... Effectively, it's it's like a, a an expensive hush, in a way, right? The difference being this, this transformation is permanent. So you get to remove anything. I mean, not remove it exactly, like you turn into a 3-3, but you technically remove it, and you do so at burst speed. So that makes it so that this card can't be interacted with. I mean, this card compared to the... Um, the what was it called? The stealth defense? Uh, the three mana spell that, that transforms a unit into a 1 6 for one turn, or like transforms the stats. Like that costs half the mana, but it's only a temporary effect, and it's hard to kill off a unit when you give it six health in that regard. So, Mini Morph is interesting. I think Mini Morph is actually very, very interesting. The fact that it's burst speed is, is what makes it so interesting. Because you can try, like, unlike uh, the signature spell from Lulu. Which is Whims? Oh, I forgot the name. That but it actually transforms a unit into a one-one score, but it, it's only for one turn, and it has to be a follower. It can't be a champion. This can target champions. So comparing this to something like like Vengeance is when you start realizing that the value is actually not bad at all. Like one mana less instead of removing the unit, you're transforming into a unit. So you, any last breath effects or anything you're completely dealing with, and you're doing this at burst speed, so the opponent can't like counter it in any sort of way, you know? They, they can't like really do anything about this card. So it's actually, Mini Morph is actually better than it seems at first. Like, I actually do like it. Let's take a look at the, um, there's, there was one more? Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I always wanna see more. Uh, this Darkness archetype is really interesting. It's, uh, it's really dope, uh, because I, I'm a fan of slow burn decks, you know, control decks that actually burn you uh, later in the game. Like, it, it may seem like a, oh, yeah, it's just dealing damage directly. Yeah, but it's something that you got to work towards, you know? And that's really, really cool. One of the things to consider with this kind of deck is that with Vigar, you, you want to combine uh, Vigar in a region that allows you to defend them. It allows you to utilize combat tricks to protect them or perhaps uh, cards to disrupt because you want to keep Vigar alive as much as you can. And there are a lot of support regions that can accomplish that, right? But the, the fact that you can actually build a Shadow Owls deck with Vigar and completely disregard Vandal City is also, is also super, super uh, interesting to me. I'd have to sit down and see, like, because this is a more, like, it's, it's a less synergy dependent champion, I believe. Even though cards like Dark Bulb Acolyte and uh, Stilted Robe Maker and Twisted Catalyzer do encourage you to take the Bandle City route, it's it's not exactly like completely restricted to that. Especially with Ten Tenor or Terror, Tenor or Terror can definitely be pretty good outside. Like it's a solid, it's a very solid card. If you played a creative card, I killed it. It's it's very flexible, man. It can even go like Victor decks, you know, like, and, and outside of that, like, any sort of, like, ten Terror Terror is really interesting. It has to be good, right? Like, for four mana, you're getting two bodies, and both of them have impact. I mean, they, they kind of, they're, you're essentially getting two two drops, right? But both of them have impact, so that feels like it's definitely burden. Uh, it's definitely burden. It's definitely worth it. Uh, I was, like, reading the name of the Bass of Burden. And Wizard and Wizard is really interesting. I, I wonder if you really want to be playing this card... In, in, like I said, a spell-based deck. I mean, in the long run, it definitely... It's kind of like effectively ramping, and it's giving you a body on top of that. Even though a very frail one, too. Understated, so that's the price that you're paying for a very strong effect. I love the art of these cards. And I, I'm, like, super excited for, for Event Horizon with Yasuo. Like, whenever I see a stun effect, I'm, I'm, I'm always, like, screaming Yasuo. But this is, like, <laughs> this card! Just think about it, man. Like, you can instantly level up Yasuo at fast speed! at fast speed and, and if there's like a lot of like swarmy decks running around you can just stun and just wipe them all out like that is just so exciting and it's a good card for a, a, a champion like Vigar to have as well yeah I'm more excited uh, okay so right now Caitlyn is definitely my number one but uh Vigar is my number two I, I'm more excited about Vigar than I am for Poppy 
This champion looks really, really dope. It's super fun to play with. I can't wait to build around with him. Really exciting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content from your favorite React Andy. Out of all the React Andys on this damn website. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop talking. Let me know what you guys think about Vigar. And uh, what deck ideas, like what, what region combinations do you see him excelling in? I have to sit down and, and actually think about it for a little bit. Because the, the dual region, the fact that, you know, that, that makes it a, a way more complex when it comes to deck building. Because the fact that I, I may not even require Bandle City is really, 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 really interesting. And it's funny how the signature spell uh, has the dual region, but then the actual spell itself only has Bandle City. Neat little detail. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Have a full day. I'll see you tomorrow.